Hello friends, this is Carrie Ann with Salty and Bright, and this is part three of the mini-series, Healing the Broken Heart. Before we get into today's topic, I would love for you to click on the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you won't miss any videos, and then share and like this video so that more people will learn about God's love for them. Today we're going to discuss Hannah. Who is Hannah? Hannah is a woman in the Old Testament, actually in 1 Samuel chapter 1. And Hannah was very sad. Every year, her husband, her husband's other wife, and their family would go into Jerusalem and they would celebrate. And she would be very upset because she didn't have any children. Her husband didn't understand why she was so upset. Back then, having children would have elevated a woman's status, and she was very heartbroken because she couldn't have children. And her husband's other wife, because he had two wives, she taunted her and teased her and made her very, very uncomfortable. I know some of us have people in our lives that like to show off and and show up our shortcomings. But in this situation, she was very heartbroken. She was very upset. She was in anguish, and she cried out to the Lord bitterly. She went to the temple, and she cried so hard that her lips were moving, but there were no sounds coming out. I know that sometimes our hurt can be so deep that the words can't find its way out. And so we're, she cried out to the Lord in such anguish, and she cried out bitterly because she wanted to have children. And at that point, she couldn't. Well, Eli, who is the priest of the temple, saw her, and he saw her praying, and no words were coming out of her mouth. He thought she was drunk. Eli's a topic for another story, but she explained to him that she definitely isn't drunk. That is not the situation at all, but that she was petitioning the Lord. God heard Hannah's cries. He opened her womb and he gave her children. Not just one, but she had more than one children. And God wants us to come to him with our concerns. He wants us to give him our deep hurts. I can identify with Hannah. There are times when I'm in so much emotional pain that I just want to scream and cry and cry and cry. And then whenever I remember it again, I start crying again because the hurt runs so deep. Sometimes crying, even though crying doesn't fix the issue, it kind of helps let some of that pain out. We are comforted by Psalm 147, verse 3, which states, He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. I'm going to say that again. He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. And so God encourages us to bring our hurts to Him, to bring our cares to Him, to bring those things that we don't want to tell anybody else, we can bring it to Him. And when you have a relationship with our Abba Father, you can feel comfortable that you can climb up in His lap and you can cry on His chest. And I know it, it may not seem easy to do that for a God that you physically cannot see, but He encourages us to come to Him. He encourages us to boldly go to the throne of grace to receive mercy and help. So He wants us to come to Him. He has been calling us to come to Him. And one of the barriers is that if you don't have a relationship with Him, you may not feel as open to running to Him. But that's where the good news is. Jesus has redeemed us to the Father and so that we can have this close relationship with Him. If you don't know Jesus, I strongly encourage that you start a relationship with Him. Choose Jesus today. He died for our sins so that we could have a relationship with the Father. And then we are adopted into God's family. We become co-heirs with Jesus. And then we get the benefits of the kingdom of God. 
Grace is such a beautiful thing. I would hate for anybody to miss out. So, if you don't know Jesus today, I recommend that you try Jesus today. You can ask him to come into your heart, to forgive you of your sins. And it doesn't just stop there. You turn away from your sins and you turn your heart to God and you follow him. In the next video, we will conclude this mini series. But in the meantime, if you haven't already done so, click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and like and share this video. Thanks, friends.